we are as of right now, we are go for launch. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine says the weather so far is cooperating for SpaceX historic launch to the International Space Station on Wednesday. That's when two American astronauts are set to blast off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, ending the U.S. Space Agency's nine-year hiatus in human spaceflight and the first manned flight by a private company. Astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin will be launched into space from Elon Musk's SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, an event that Bridenstine says is transforming how NASA operates. We're transforming how we do spaceflight in general. The commercial crew program is in fact about commercializing low Earth orbit. We've got resupply, now we're going to have crew, soon we're going to have commercial space stations. For NASA, SpaceX, and its founder, Elon Musk, a safe flight would mark a milestone in business-led space travel. NASA, which is hoping to stimulate a commercial space marketplace, recently awarded $3.1 billion to SpaceX and $4.5 billion to Boeing to develop dueling space capsules. Then, NASA plans to buy astronaut seats from the two companies. NASA will be a customer. We will always, always, always be a customer. It's how we're going to get to the moon and on to Mars. If we keep developing, using American taxpayer dollars to develop capabilities in low Earth orbit, we'll never get to the moon and on to Mars. Um, that's what this program is all about. It's about commercialization. One, zero. SpaceX successfully tested Crew Dragon without astronauts last year in its final orbital mission to the space station. That vehicle was destroyed the following month during a ground test when one of the valves for its abort system burst, causing an explosion that triggered a nine-month engineering investigation that ended in January. President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence plan to attend Wednesday's launch. But NASA says no matter who is watching, it reserves the right to cancel the launch at the last minute if conditions are deemed unsafe.